Welcome to another episode of Steamy. Today we are looking at Steam Follower. Steam Follower is a third party app that gives you an entire new ecosystem to upvote people who are all registered Steam followers and then you will get virtual points from the Steam follower system and that will push your own latest post up in the upvoting um, section of that website and then people who will upvote your post will also re receive these points. So basically what happens is that everyone who participates in Steam follower will get a smaller pool of users and all the other users will be filtered out from all the posts and that allows you to receive a reward besides the curation reward itself for upvoting posts and that is a very interesting way to improve your income. So let's have a look at this. This is the starting page of Steam Follower. You need to create an account and give your private key to the website in order for it to let you upvote other people's posts and follow them. Um, down here you see there are different percentages of rewards that you get um, in forms of these points. Um, depending on your steam power you will get more when you have less. So this is ideal for minnows to boost themselves a little bit because they will get the steam dollar rewards. It's not really steam dollars, it's, it's an upvote um, reward uh, calculated in steam dollar. So they also have a referral program so I will drop a link in the post and when you click that I will receive 5% of everything that you are generating. I think that is not taken away from you, but put on top of it. I'm, I'm not sure actually. Maybe the programmer who is the nice fellow over here, let me see, it's uh, Madi Yadi, can clarify that in the comments below. All right, let's have a look at the exchange where we can find other people's posts and upvote them. So what happens here is when you load this page, it will take a moment to go through the database of all the posts and filter the users that are registered Steam followers. I'm now, I have clicked on the top upvoted posts, not top upvoted posts, but the, um, the top um, authors who are in the Steam follower system and who have the most points already gathered by upvoting other people's posts. And when this super long loading circle has finished, then we will see 10 or 15 posts. I must say the layout of the website is, um, it's working, but that's all. It's not really sexy in any way. Uh, particularly here, the thumbnails, I think, look rubbish when they are cut like this. They should be unified and then automatically cut from the website so that they all look the, have the same dimensions, like on the Steemit website. Also, this could be improved a little bit here, this, all this metadata that you see. However, it works and that is the most important thing. On the right hand here, you see what is special about Steam Follower. Here on the top, you can promote your posts, which means that the um, points that will be burned by other people clicking on your posts will be used up more quickly, two times, three times, up to five times as much but you will also be seen rather quickly than if you don't use that. I'm not quite sure how this, how this influences the way how your posts appear here. So you can see here the first loaded post, I assume that when you 
use the promotion, then your post will pop up first or among the first. Below you see your voting power, 82% for me currently. There are a total registered users of 4,000. It's growing quickly. Uh, yesterday was, I think, 3,800. Then here are my points. I have at the moment 106,356 points, which is worth 11.4 Steam dollars. And I have no clue what the base means. A thousand points, zero. Oh, okay, that's the calculation. A thousand points are 0 0.1. That's the, that's the calculation. And then you will receive this amount and upvotes. So that basically now means that when there's a minnow who upvotes my post with, let's say, one cent, then only one cent here will go down. But it calculates below the cent, so you can see it even goes um, into four points, into four decimals, which is even lower than what you normally see on Steemit itself. It only goes to the three decimals there. Here's the referral link that you can use to promote this page to other people and maybe even make a profit there. I think the, the top user so far has earned like 16 Steam dollars from his referrals. And he has a couple hundred, I think. Um, I have zero referrals currently and earned from referrals zero um, accordingly. Here on the upvote bit, you can open a post when you click on that. It looks really rubbish if it works. I had a couple of problems here. Okay, now it loaded. And it's using the entire width of the website, unlike Steemit, which is lowering the width and all the posts are optimized. So I suggest that here we should use the same width for the canvas where the post is being created as is being used in Steemit in order to give you the same user reading experience. And when you upvote it here, then currently it's set on 85.55 voting power. This seems to be the default number. You can change that and it will be um, saved in that number automatically. I will just use that now. It's handy for a reason that I'll come back to in a second. So when I click that now, actually I will not use it because my voting power is so low. So just for demonstrations, I will I do a 10% upvote. I haven't even read the post here yet, so shouldn't, it's not really justified to give such a high vote anyway. So, okay, 10% upvote. Um, actually, I think I already did upvote that. There was the blue button activated. Yeah, all of, all of these seems to be already upvoted by me. Not quite sure, did that work now? No, it didn't work. Now it's loading, connecting to Steam blockchain. It probably, it probably doesn't work directly from the post itself. And then we have now the confirmation that it's being upvoted and it's not being added to my points here, which is not being refreshed um, in lifetime. You have to refresh the page, which I will not immediately do because that takes so long. You can then filter all these posts by the top categories, which is useful and yeah, if you run out of posts here on the first page, you can use the next page button, which will then reload and gives you the next page. What I figured out here is that all these posts, first of all, um, they are rather limited. So when you filter for a certain category, I use usually Steemit, uh, and I check posts there. I just saw a handful, maybe not even the 15 on the first page, and that is not much. So the, even though there's a number of 4,000, that seems to be a lot of minnows who don't post as much yet themselves, probably. And um, therefore, more people need to, to join in order to make this really interesting and have also quality posts. I see a lot of low quality posts here. So no offense to the community here. I'm sure there are tons of really good um, posts as well. I have spotted a couple of people I already follow myself, but um, also a lot of posts that are really not worth your upvote. And I think you should treat this page 
not like a circle jerk, which is a, a term for uh, when everyone is just giving their upvotes to each other, but nothing to the rest of the community. It's not like that at all. It is just giving you a better opportunity to get reach, to, to be seen, actually. It's fantastic. Right now, as, as it has just so few people, it's even better, technically. But it will still be really cool if there are many more people joining this. And it gives you extra rewards, so that is also really nice. Um, all right, so that is the exchange for upvotes. We have also an exchange for followers. I'm really critical about this feature currently because I think you should only follow people that you really are interested in. So instead of having an exchange for followers, there should be a sim there should be activated um, to to have a quick follow button somewhere in the in the post metadata where you upvote the post and where you don't just see look at this this is totally anonymous. They don't even have user avatars yet. So you have, to, you have to double check them, you have to inspect them if you really wanna make sure, and that's not really a good way. So I think it's, it's not going in the right direction. It's just follow for follow, and I don't like that at all. And I think the, most, the majority of Steemit doesn't like that. At least the, the people who frequently use Steemit, everyone who joins Steemit at first wants to do follow for follow, so I understand that there is a need for it, but everyone should learn there's a better, more efficient way to find followers and interact with people better. So um, to uh, Madi, Madi Yadi, again, I suggest that you, I don't know, rethink the concept or offer more features. I don't currently have a great solution myself, except for, like I said, offering a direct follow on the Steam, on the, on the post in the upvote section. So the principle here for everyone else is similar. You, you follow someone and then you get points and you will receive a similar amount of follows and then your profile will not pop up in these lists anymore. So nobody can follow you via Steam follower. It's, it's, a, fair, it's a fair game, but like I said, it's not really leading anywhere in terms of quality followers. Then there are a couple of stats here. I, um, I will quickly double check what that is here. It's not much. You see how many votes I received today and yesterday. So there, there was quite an amount coming together. Although I must say it wasn't really worth much. Let's have a look at my wallet. You see every upvote, not every upvote, but for sure the upvotes with 86% are coming from Steam follower because the default setting there, as you remember, is 85.55, I think, which is rounded up here to 86. And the majority of the 86% upvotes are zero, actually. At least it, it seems like zero because, for example, this one, because it's a person who just joined Steam and who has no Steam power yet. Of course, it has some worth to it, but it's, round, it's rounded away here so you can't see it. Um, a couple of cents. There is, there is someone who actually upvoted me with $2. Let me see if I quickly find him here. Donald Trump fan. He upvoted me with $2. But that is not because he just used the website. There is more to it, and this is what I'm showing you now. There's the market, and I find this particularly interesting what is happening here. So let me quickly use my um, LastPass browser plugin to log in here with my private key. And now you see there is this marketplace that offers you to sell your points. So all the points that you gathered in the Steam follower ecosystem are up for sale, if you like, to any price that you, that you want. Of course, you have to, it, since it's a market, always the smallest bids is the more, uh, the, the, the cheapest offer will be the most attractive one, which will be bought first. And then the more expensive ones will will follow up. So you have to find a price that you can live with that is 
also um, working with the ecosystem itself and the price that is currently being used for it. So it will probably go to a point where you get one dollar for one dollar. Currently you get some cheaper offers. Maybe it's, it will be a little bit less so people make maybe not a profit but at, le at least even out. So if you want to even out your money you need to get a higher upvote of not just one dollar if you if you buy one dollar basically in points here you need one dollar twenty five because of the 25% curation reward that is taken away from the upvote on, on your post. All right, yeah, I did that. I bought some points. That is the reason why I had already over $10 there. I, I didn't upvote that high. My upvote power is currently just 15 cents. And I have just discovered it two days ago. So Donald Trump fan, who has a much higher steam power, has already gathered, I think, over $100. And he's now selling them in um, the marketplace. And that is great, because that will now create a constant upvote stream for my posts. Hopefully, these people will read these posts and follow me. Of course, there's always a chance that all that they're doing is um, clicking through the posts without even opening them and just upvoting them to, to gain money. But the same thing can happen on Steemit itself. So no big change there. Right. Uh, is there something else? No, I already clicked on the market. That's, that's it. That is Steam follower. There are more stats. There are the top users that you can also expect. That's the last thing I haven't shown you yet. Here you see um, this is for referrals and this is for the voters. I'm not quite sure if this is all I could. I haven't, re haven't probably read this yet and I, I just want to wrap up the video. So check out these stats yourself. Um, instead, I want to focus on the possibility of Steam Follow. What I think about this website is it's awesome. I think it has a great potential. However, the way it works currently just invites to not read anything. The user interface looks rather ugly, so it should at least look the posts look at like on Steemit, like I suggested earlier. Um, and also, I find, and I wrote this as a comment and suggestion. I find it a little bit anonymous. I feel myself like I am back to the beginning of my Steemit days where I don't know anybody because it's, a, it's an ecosystem in itself and I, um, I have no connection to these people. And everything that I want is just quickly to get out of there and return to my usual Steemit to read the posts the way I like them to be read um, in their style that I'm used to and also to, to do everything else. I just don't want to be on the platform. So there should be some usability improvements that just make it more like Steemit um, in a way. Not everything, of course, but just a few things. And also my biggest suggestion is open up the platform to communities allow people to create sub communities. This will be the killer application feature for Steam follower, I think, because if you allow people like Curator, who is a curation guild, who is highlighting really good content of a lot of people and helps them to gain more audience, if you allow them to create their sub community on Steam follower, you will give everyone in that community, everyone who's a member of Curator will then be able to uh, find the posts of their fellow members much, much faster, much easier, instead of going manually from user account to user account to do so. You can just go onto the subcategory and then when you are on this page that you see right now, you will not see these posts, you will then only see the posts from your community and then you can find them quickly you can upvote them quickly you can interact with your 
with your peer group and engage much more efficiently with everyone with less time consuming. So I think this will, this will attract a lot of people to this platform. As it is right now, it is not very attractive to people who are already integrated into the community. It is attractive to, for, to, to minnows who just joined the platform anew and it doesn't really invite them to interact further with people. Uh, by the way, the reply function is buggy if you are in the, in the post and you want to reply after you already upvoted. It's not possible anymore because it's faded out, just, just to let you know. So yes, amazing website that needs some work. And I think this is only possible if you guys, if you like this potential, if you go to the official uh, post here from Madiadi, follow him, upvote him with all you got, because this is another cool third party app like all the others that we see currently. And it deserves more attention than $14 for sure. But if we don't help him, with our financial steam power, then he will not be able to do that because he has, he is not living from Steamit yet. And we have to allow him to do so in order to give us the great content that Steam follower could be. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much. And I talk to you very soon. Bye.